And now, the plays of the game. Each team went three and out to begin the contest. Second possession of the game, Russell Wilson found Tyler Lockett for 51 yards, setting up a Jason Myers 31-yard field goal. Seahawks go up 3 to nothing, 9-25 remaining in the first. Titans would answer with a 13-play, 70-yard drive, 640 off the clock. They call on Randy Bullock. Snap, set, Bullock's kick is up, and his kick is good. Nice drive by the Titans. Good answer. 3-3, your score after one. Titans grab their only lead of regulation with 8-18 to go in the second quarter. It's a Bullock 30-yard field goal. It was set up by this play. Play fake. Tannehill looking. Going deep downfield for Jones. He's got it. Julio with the catch at the 25-yard line of the Seattle Seahawks. 51-yard gain. Again, it set up the field goal. Titans led 6-3, 8-18 to go in the second. That really didn't last long. Two plays later, this happened. Wilson being chased. Floats it down the middle. Lockett is wide open at the 35. Gets away from the Titans to the 30, to the 20, to the 10, to the 5, to the end zone. 63 yards. Russell Wilson to Tyler Lockett at Seattle is back in front. 10-6, 10-6, 634 to go in the second quarter. Disaster strikes for the Titans just a couple of plays later. Alton Robinson and Puna Ford sack Ryan Tannehill from the blind side. He fumbles. Kerry Hyder recovers. Two plays later, Chris Carson does Wilson work. is now in the shotgun with Carson on his right hip. Going to give it to Carson straight up the middle, and he's into the end zone. Touchdown Seattle as they have put up Two touchdowns in 74 seconds to take a 10-point lead. 17-6, 5.20 to go in the second quarter. Titans drive, eight plays, 63 yards. They have an apparent touchdown on a third down completion to Julio Jones. But upon review, it is ruled that his back foot hit the line out of bounds. Titans have to kick a field goal with Randy Bullock. It's 17-9 with a minute five to go. Dave McGinnis was right on target, however. He said, you got to watch Russell Wilson in this situation. Seven plays, 75 yards. He cuts up the Titans' defense, and then he hands off to Chris Carson. Give it to Carson, and he's in. What an answer by the Seahawks. They go 75 yards in 48 seconds and answer the Titans to take a 14-point lead. Has a familiar feel to last week. Tennessee was down 24-6 to at halftime a week ago. They were down 24-9 to at halftime this week. Well, Titans on their first possession of the second half get the answer they need. Eight plays, 80 yards, 423 off the clock. Seattle showing all-out blitz. Here they come. Give Henry on the right side. Looking for him. Cuts back to the left. To the 10. To the 5. Henry turns it up. Runs into Diggs, runs into the end zone. Touchdown, Titans! Derrick Henry from nine yards out, extra point good. 24-16, 10-37 remaining in the third quarter. We move to the fourth quarter. Still 24-16. Titans defense doing a good job until a major breakdown occurs. Wilson firing deep downfield. Man is wide open. The Titans lost the receiver. 30, 20, 10, 5. End zone, touchdown, Seattle. Freddie Swain was that receiver. Ends up being a 68-yard touchdown on a third and 13 play. Just a disaster. And quite frankly, the feeling that you have if you're a Titans fan, and I'm sure if you're listening you were feeling this, is here we go again. It's the same as last week. The Titans have given up a 51-yard completion, a 63-yard completion, a 68-yard completion. They're down 30 to. 16 with 13.06 to go in the fourth quarter. Well, then on first down, the Titans get the ball back at their 25. They complete a pass, and it's to A.J. Brown for 15 yards, and then this happens. They run Henry on the left side. He's got some room to the 45. He's outside to the 50. He's to the 40. He's to the 30. He's to the 20. He's to the 10. He's to the 5. He's to the end zone. Yes. Touchdown, Titans. Derrick Henry just went 60. He just went 60 yards. A two-play, 75-yard drive. Pulls the Titans 
to within 30 to 23 with 12-17 remaining in the game. The Titans would get the ball back with a chance late in the contest, even after they failed on fourth down at the 30-yard line at a fourth and three play at the 30-yard line of Seattle. The defense holds, and they get one more chance, and they're able to drive the football down the field. Initially, Derrick Henry is called in on a touchdown run that was gave them actually a first down at the goal line instead because the call was overturned. So let's give it to Derrick Henry one more time. Tannehill's in the gun with Henry. Titans with one timeout. Give Henry. He walks in. Touchdown, Titans. No review needed. <laughs> PAT was good. 32 seconds remaining when they snap the ball. 29 seconds remaining when Seattle gets it back. And you're thinking to yourself, this is Russell Wilson. Mr. Fourth Quarter, Mr. Overtime. He's not able to mount anything as the Titans get pressure. They consistently make some things happen, and we end up going to overtime with Seattle having to throw a short pass on the last play of regulation, and Lockett is tackled at the Titans' 32-yard line. So in overtime, Titans get the ball first. They get to the 39-yard line after a personal foul roughing the passer penalty on Jamal Adams. But a false start sets him back. Three straight incomplete passes means that Tennessee has to punt. Outstanding punt. Backs up Seattle to their own 13. Two plays, nothing. On third down and 10, Ola Adaini sacks Russell Wilson at the goal line. Appeared it might be a safety. Instead, Sarah Thomas, the down judge, reviewed or came up with the, (laughs) made the call, that's better said, that the ball was outside the goal line. So they punt from their own end zone, does Dixon. Chester Rogers comes up, fields it, runs it back to the 39. The Titans are able to advance the ball to the 18-yard line where they have fourth down and one, and they call on Randy Bullock to try and win it. This is a 36-yarder to win it. Young man from Klein, Texas. Snap, set, kick. <laughs> yes! How about these Titans? Yes! 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 The impossible yes! situation possible. Everybody said it couldn't happen, and it happened. Overcoming their own mistakes and finding a way to get to one and one and beat Seattle in Seattle. How about that?